Hi, it's David at Alta David Smith again. Uh, excuse the gloomy look, uh, what's happening at the moment. It's a really foul day it's turning into outside at the moment. Uh, so, if it's coming across on the drawing, I apologise for that. I'm trying to light it as much as I can. Uh, and obviously you're going to hear wind as well, so uh, just uh, bear with us. So this week is sea creatures. Uh, it would appear not to be quite as popular a subject as some of the others, or people have just been busier this week because of the nice weather. Uh, so what I've decided to do is an octopus. So, kind of what I'm doing is the main body. As with a lot of my drawings, as I've already mentioned, I always want to try and get them into some sort of situation or doing something out in the ordinary. Just to uh, put my take on the subject. So, so hopefully you've all had a productive week. Uh, even if you've not been doing the CQ to drawings, you've been doing other things, your other drawings. And keeping safe. So, let's see. This face on this octopus going on here. Face the rest of his mouth. And then what I'm going to start to do is start putting in the tentacles now if there is any other subjects you'd like me to cover on the drawing challenge drop me a message in the comment section of the video or you can contact me by my Facebook page or Twitter, all the uh, links are on the page, the description of the video, so uh, feel free to uh, hop along see some of the other work. I've had a busy week myself, I've taken advantage of the nice weather, got out into the garden. to move a load of trees around because we're doing some other bits and bobs so me and my son have been uh, digging trees out part of the week so again when, when anything like this I'm just kind of framing it at the moment so I knew You've always got this kind of, I suppose it's a bit like a, a plum tomato, this bell shape, what uh, you've got with octopi. So that's kind of what I've been playing with a little bit there. And then what I'm going to do is decide where I probably want one tentacle coming over here. I'm going to have one stretching out down here and again just like we do the bones in the arms by doing that you can get a feel for how it's all going to be arranged on the page uh, and whether they're all in the kind of the right places and then obviously as I fill these out I can start tweaking, making sure everything's in the correct place. Put some of the suckers on the bottom of the tentacles. Now, 
originally. This octopus was drawn as part of a bedroom wall mural that I did a few years back now. Uh, I used to go do wall murals on kids bedrooms or in play centres, things like that. So, uh, whereas this was quite a, a normal sized one, uh, some of the others which I did were very large. The tallest I worked on was Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, and that was six metres high. And the longest I worked on was down the entire side of a bowling alley. So I think that was 22 or 24 metres in length. So it was a, a big old drawing and a lot of paint. So uh, Hopefully not all too bored during the lockdown. I know my kids have got quite a lot of homework what they're having to work through. But they're also uh, doing a lot of artwork as well. Uh, making cakes, cooking dinner. Check out my daughter's cooking channel on YouTube as well. There's a link on the front page. She calls herself Bear Cooks. So check that out. It's nice straightforward simple cookery. It's really nice and tasty so give that a go. So what I'm trying to do here if you haven't guessed yet Wanting the octopus to be guarding some treasure. Get comfortable. So we're going to have a treasure chest sat here. So we'll have a couple of these. the tentacles wrapping around this in a protective manner and what we'll do is we'll have a bit of the gold filling out of the chest. So with your octopus, as you've seen, it's very quick really. When you start with that shape, so as I referred to it, a bit like a plum tomato, with this shape, you can then start working around that as to where all your tentacles are going to go. Very similar as well if obviously you're doing a squid, anything like that, it's a similar approach. But by doing this then, I can frame it on the picture and get a real good feel for the overall size and the position of where everything is. So this is just some of that sort of like these quite distinctive patterns along the sides of them. So I just need to make sure we've got a few more 
tentacles on this side and tentacles, I mean the suckers. Go further along, we just do the circles and not having the real big ones up at the end. So again, we're keeping it all nice and simple, quick to do. And it's a good one to have a play with. Again, on the sea bed, we can starfish and a few stones if we were carrying the picture on. Maybe even a few extra coins over this way. But again, we're putting them in nice and loose at this stage. Some weed. So, happy with the overall layout of that now. So, just like we do with all the other drawings, we can then start inking it out on something like this. Very simple again to ink this one out. Uh, thicken some of the lines as I've mentioned in other videos, certainly these ones towards the bottom so it feels like it's really located on the ground and then swap out to your fine liner when you get down to the other ones. So the finer detail go with the fine liner. Always looks a little bit scrappy at this stage. this video. We've got a little bit better weather than we have today. So that comes in handy. Saves me having to water the trees today. faster than I probably should on, on this. Just a bit more in the eyes. Okay. I'll swap out now to the fine liner. We can sharpen up. more finer detail lines what we're going to put in and then again if we're going around the edge we can just fatten those ones up swap into the sharpie again we can just tweak these lines So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I always try and, if I'm making characters like this, so this one as I mentioned was part of a kid's bedroom wall mural, so I wanted it to be a nice welcoming scene. So that's why I opted to have my octopus here doing a bit of reading while he was guarding the 
treasure. So again, we're putting in these finer detail now. Quite quickly. But you start seeing it coming together also quite quickly. Again, off camera, what I'll do is I'll tweak about with some of these lines, changing the the weight of them. So when you refer to weight of a line, you've obviously got your thicker lines, which are weightier lines, and then your thinner detail lines. So probably around here, I'll change some of the thickness of these and again it tends to be the outside lines where you're only seeing one side you tend to make it a little bit thicker this line here where you're seeing this side and this side of it you keep to a thinner line and then by doing that this outside the line wants to be slightly thicker so what I try and tend to do is I'll have this outside line thicker but the bottom line a little bit thicker still so it gives it a bit more substance it really looks like it's then sat down onto the ground and then when I colour this up I'll obviously have a shadow underneath this which then really does fix it to the ground so it doesn't look like it's just hovering in space so again I'll clean these lines up off camera I don't need to watch me doing all those this line again because you're seeing two sides of it will be thinner than the outside lines which we've put in on the outside of that page of the book and then thinner on the individual pages on the inside so again something like this detail at the top it's often not a very it's not a solid line so what I'm going to do is just like a side to side kind of cross hatch and as I come further and further down my cross hatch just reduces in size comes down to a line single part and I can go back over again if I need to thicken that up but it doesn't feel as solid then it's just a different way of putting texture into your drawing using a cross hatch so just put a bit more detail on the treasure chest so you can see what I'm going to do with that but I think we are just about there so to reiterate we started with a very simple shape that bell shape, that tomato shape and it's often easier when you're trying to draw a creature or come up with your own creatures for the first time to think them of as what kind of shape you want it to be it gives you something as a starting point then when you start to construct your own drawing rather than just staring 
a blank piece of paper. So we should put in these. details on the chest, so that starts to make the chest feel a bit more solid. So obviously the chest's in the olden days when the full of treasure would have been very sturdy wooden things with lots of metal brackets on them, giving them extra strength. just got loose detail probably just when I'm putting the colour in here it'll just end up being a yellow orangey goldy colour but what it does is just keeps it all simple so you know that obviously this chest is full of gold then so we've got some straps on there as well I'll continue with this off camera what you can see just with that very simple shape, throwing the tentacles out where we wanted them. In my situation here, I've got him reading a book. Uh, but very easy to plan out, very easy to execute. So give it a go. Uh, the people who have entered, I'll put your drawings at the end of the video as normal. Uh, I've not decided on what this week's challenge is yet. Um, so if you've got any ideas that you'd like to throw in by all means quickly message me and we'll get something sorted for this week but in the meantime stay safe keep drawing and uh, i'll catch you on the next video but well, thank you very much bye bye